What's up everyone, Ryan here, and I'm back with another EA Sports PGA Tour Career Mode Series video, and it is time for round number two of the Masters at Augusta National, where Ryan Gamer is sitting minus four, tied for 22nd place after the first round. So, first things first this round, come out, make the cut, and then try to push up the leaderboard as best we can. Ryan had a slow start in round number one, was one over on the front, but kicked it into another gear with a five under on the back nine. It was epic, started at Amen corner, and Ryan started dominating. Five birdies to get to four under on the day. Can Ryan Gamer do that same thing, but maybe start a little bit earlier this time? Well, we will see, but thank you all so much for all the support on this series. If you get some enjoyment, drop a like, subscribe for more, and I always love to read your all's positive, encouraging comments. I greatly appreciate that. So much encouragement with round one. You all are legends. It is time. Let's go ahead and check the settings and see what we got here for round number two. So right now, Corey Connors is sitting in the lead, minus 10. Uh, but keep in mind, a lot of players haven't played yet. 10 to 15 miles per hour wins. Oh my, tournament conditions. This is going to be a battle. We need to focus up and play our game. We're going into this round tied 32nd place. Oh my. Okay, so Corey Connors is sitting 10 under right now. Still has some golf to play. Unless he... Wow, what a day. Adam Long was the leader. Seeing off at 12.24. We tee off at 11.06. Will Gordon, David... Wow, people are scoring well today. It's going to be interesting to see. Tony Fidal had a great first round. Hopefully, he can push up. Would be awesome to be, have the final pairing, Ryan Gamer and Fidal. It is time. Let's go ahead and dive on in. From the Augusta National Golf Club in Augusta, Georgia, EA Sports so proudly presents the Masters. Today live second round coverage of the season's first and many say most coveted major championship well if we see more of what we witnessed yesterday we're in for a heck of a battle these next three days as we show you the current leaderboard here on this friday the leader is the canadian corey connors he sits at 10 under par so round two here at the Masters, our featured golfer whom we followed yesterday, really impressive with a sub 70 opening round. Now, we've seen plenty of players jump up that leaderboard day one and then wilt as the weekend progresses. Frank, what do you expect to see here? A little bit of the same, Rich. I, I think anytime you shoot in the 60s day one, you know you're already in contention. Uh, you and I both know too that it, normally the winner comes out of the last couple of groups come the weekend. So. Friday's round is even more important just really to not do any damage. Do not do any damage. It is time. Hole number one of our Friday round. Round number two of the Masters. I need all of your all's one times this round. We got this. Just play the game. Now, Ryan and Jerry worked all last night and studied hole one. And they came out saying hybrid, sit it in the fairway. No need to risk it. Just don't put it in the bunker, right? Have to play smart. When you miss the fairway in a round one, you come out this smarter, always right? always a nervy tee shot, but it is level with the bunker. And in the fairway, Beautiful. you're at hole number one. This wind Second is going to be coming insane. Up. Let's check in for the first time with Notavigay the third. 151 yards left. Pin about medium depth, though it is on the left side. What do you even do here in this wind? It's, it's a crosswind, but there's a tailwind component. It's up the hill. I think we just got to try to put this thing up and onto the green. Nothing fancy. Wow, this is going to be tough. Great swing. Or just attack it, Ryan. I was not expecting the wind. To, I was playing it safe to the, the right. It must be 15 miles per hour winds. Oh, my goodness. See that close up on that fan? That was kind of freaky. <laughs> That's a tough shot, right? At the end of the day, I didn't. I was playing more towards the 10 mile an hour win, but wow, it wasn't. What do we do? Flop shot, have to. Have to. Look. 
Look at that win. Grab that ball. This par is huge. Get the nervous jitters out early here in round number one. Bogeyed this hole. I mean round number one. Round number two. What I meant to say, we bogeyed this hole round number one. So really have to make sure we can score here. Ball is above the feet. Looks like a steady right to left. I don't think this is breaking much. Was overhitting so many putts. Let's just play for the overhit. Now, we've seen folks hang that putt out to the right. It does not move as much as you think, and that goes on by. <sighs> Wasn't thinking I was going to... Plus 3%. That ball did not have a shot. It did not have a shot. You got to give it a shot, right? You got to give it a shot, Ryan. Is what it is, right? Can't take it back. That's... Bogey on hole number one, back okay. to back rounds. Okay, bogey here at first. And he's going to slide backwards to three under par. This course, that hole gets me so often. We are sitting in 48th place now. We did not want to drop that stroke, but at the end of the day, we did. In this win, we're going to have to draw this. You don't see me draw this, draw it very much in this game, but we have to. Now, I always watch my thumb through the motion. on the swing you see at the beginning please don't go no shot the ball rose that much now this is second we got lucky the pine straw that did not roll into the rough but well, maybe it would have rolled that much but i don't that is a heartbreaker what do we even do on this one honestly anybody got any ideas I don't. Just put this in the fairway, I guess? 100% lie. This is such an interesting opportunity here. I mean, I, th I don't... Do we go for the draw? No. Just put this in the fairway. Nothing fancy. What are you going to do, right, at the end of the day? That missed the shot off the tee, a little bit off in the swing plane. But if we uh, don't, it goes shot. in the bunker. Good, clean so. connection and a nice recovery to get this out of the pine straw and back in the short grass. Oh, these conditions are insane. 98 yards downhill into a lot of wind. So that means knockdown shot is probably going to be the shot. Not... Got to go up to the 54 degree wedge, loft. The problem is, no, we can't hit knockdown. It's in between clubs too much. It's going to be too far. Got to go finesse shot. How far can spinner go? Not enough. Four degree wedge, how much can we hit it? 110 might be the play. Oh. One time. Way too short. Oh, that wind just ripped it. Underswung by a mile, but still. Gonna have to accelerate through the sand here to give this enough carry. In this wind, I still think we go pick. Thinking maybe blast, but I still think pick's the way to go here. Beautiful, beautiful, an impossible shot actually to mm, hit. That is a but... <laughs> good looking pass out of the bunker right there. Got that to stop in a good place, leaving just a few feet for par. Now we keep missing these. We are not missing this one. We are not missing this. Told you. Ah, good putt there. It's in for par here at the second. Remember, we were one we over on the front, but we had three bogeys three. in the last round. Let's not do that. Now this hole. 
In this win, we should just aim at these trees, take a little bit off of it, put it in the fairway. Nothing special. It, it's not a tough golf hole anyways. And no issues well, it is, there. but Good for different shot. reasons. In the short grab. Patrons, I need some hype here. From the fairway. Get Let's Ryan fired up. Well, it's a short shot on paper, but this shot will definitely embarrass you if you don't pay attention. Green is sloped severely from right to left. It's elevated, which makes it awfully difficult to get yeah, the ball close. Yeah, this is a really tough golf shot. Got to make sure we put this up onto the green. First place. Beautiful. Which I did not want to land short. You all saw that. Was played okay, it a little aggressive. Not too bad there. This will move to his right. Or birdie. Then it went to roll back. So steady left to right down the hill. A lot of break here on the short putt. It's gonna be so fast. I mean, so fast. Oh, that is so close. Just a little bit more. Just like last round number one, right? Just barely okay, missed. Finished off. Four Great four. read, though. Can Maybe you really be upset? Right no. Where he is. Hey, call in the birdie train, YouTube. You know what I need. And the toughest hole on the course for me, these next two. 248. I mean, what do you even do here? You got to hit the drive because finesse is never going to stick. I mean, in this wind, do you just play it for the bunker? I, I. Yeah, right? Play it for short. This might get there actually though. I don't even know. gonna get there oh my goodness that ball just went and it's not a bad miss miss the green and warmed up in the second cut not a bad miss at all now a weird camera view we have gotta flop this beautiful I think I'd be fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? I certainly do. It was so, so good. Steady ball below the feet. It's breaking a lot for a short putt. Yes. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four. We parred it. And he'll remain right where he is. Parred it. Same start that we had last round. That we bogeyed that hole, so. Wind's died down a bit. We're at more than 10 miles per hour now. <laughs> Love to see that. Hopefully it stays that way. I don't know about you all, but I need some water as well. That will do just fine. Been drinking a lot of coffee. Cheers. To where the hole is cut, just about 190 yards, Frank. And yes, did I wear the same shirt as yesterday? Because of that great back nine. Yes. Did Brian Gamer wear the same clothes as yesterday? Yes. Here we go. 192. Downhill. This wind is picked back up. Going to go full loft on this 6-iron finesse because this crosswind is going to take off a lot. At least that's a theory. Oh, is it? I'd say. And then we have this putt. Remember what happened the last time to the Thursday pin location? Well, not as close to the pin as you'd like, but when you find greens in regulation on a regular basis, you're going to have a chance. Okay. Play this as uphill two feet. That would be around 30 yards past. That would be about 70, 70. Let's go to play it safe because we overpower it like 66, right? 66. So we'll, we'll come back for it. But ball is below the feet. It's left to right. Then it looks like it comes back. This is just impossible, honestly. Like, I, actually, I think we got to aim at like 71. 
I don't even know. Hey, better than the last time. No, nope, that was never going to climb that hill, and he has left himself a tester coming up. These are just putts you don't have very often, right? You don't practice them a lot. You, they're hard. What's above the feet? It doesn't look like that to me. Oh, uh, yeah, it does. I can see it. Okay, I can see it from this view, definitely. Wow. I think I looked at it both ways. Yeah, that's good putt. It is a par here at the fifth. Hey, we're, he'll stay we're better than right we were. Where he is. We're already beating. Well, technically we're tied one under like we did last round, but we had a lot more bogeys in round one. It's going to be tough to find birdies in this round. 198 downhill a lot into the wind. How in the world, how in the world did Corey Connor shoot nine under in these conditions? No shot. I'm going to play this pretty safe. It's going to be up in the air for a while since it's downhill quite a bit. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. A smart shot. We're dancing. That's going to be on the putting surface and a birdie look straight ahead. Going to have to take pretty much a full swing at this one with the putter because this one is into the hill. And the hole is cut back. Would rather have it uphill than downhill. It's got to be about two feet or more up slope. Ball is above the feet. So if we aim this about 25 past. About 61. Around there. That's no. That seems 60. The problem here. If we, if we get carried away. We are in trouble. What a putt. Right, that's what you want to do. Good lag putt. Yeah, they can't all go in. They can't all go in is right, but this is straight in up the slope. We are conquering this front, though, even though so we've we went over, like... Par here at the sixth. This is and exceptional golf right in these conditions. I don't know about you all, but that's how I feel. Exceptional golf in tough conditions. It's going to funnel to the right. It's a good shot. No issues here. That is into the fairway. The nerves of Augusta National. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Well positioned in the fairway, but there is no guarantees to hit the green. It is protected by a series of bunkers all around it, and precision is a requirement. Precision is definitely key, what Noda said there. Got to be precise. 155. Do not want to land short. Knockdown shot. Full. Full attack. Really. That's beautiful. No shot. Does that spin back? It stayed up, though. Wow. Are you all thinking Texas Wedge here? We've been putting pretty good. It's looks like it's right to left most of the way. It is tough to see in these shadows, though. A pitch shot. I'm just not feeling it right now. Yeah, it's definitely left to right the whole way. Gotta think of the distance here. Probably one and a half feet uphill. Am it like 52? One time. One time. Never broke. It was straight in. What? We just had a straight in putt. Good holding speed, but 
Can you all believe that was straight? I don't think I would have ever played that as straight with the lie angle. Ball is above the feet, down the hill. This is a dangerous, dangerous putt right here. Yep, well done. That's in for par here at seven. That'll get your hand He'll shaking. Stay right where he is. 48th place, but plenty of golf left, right? Plenty of golf. Cut lines minus three. Are you kidding me? What? Max difficulty AI shot, might be a little a too long, good here. Long way to this par five. We'll know that next time now. A 254 uphill. No power approach, just normal approach. How much green? 228 to carry the front. Up the slope, full loft. Six hybrid is going to be the play. It's not a bad shot. It's in the first cut. Or second this cut. This ball not going where it was intended. It's going to work its way into the second cut. Of course it's the second cut. <laughs> I, think I've, I think I've accidentally said that wrong a few times. 42 yards uphill. Do here. Spin this one close. It's tough to see, honestly. Oh, we can't spin it because we're in the second cut. It's got to be the pitch shot. Or where's the flop put us? Long flop puts us right. It's too wide of a shot dispersion. Got to go pitch shot. Not terrible, not great though. Okay, sensible play right there, and that one on deck. A look here at Birdie. All is below the feet. Too much break on this, maybe a little to the right, but it's going back up the hill, so we can't leave it short. A little, a little break, Noda? There's no way. This putt is not a little break. Good effort, but what a read. Run two, three feet past the hole. Yeah, Ryan's going to want that one right back. Away. That was never going to get there. Ryan's going to want that one back. He's going to be dreaming about that, especially if he misses the cut by one. Okay, that in four par here at the eighth. And he'll remain right where he is. Got this. Play the game the way it's meant to be played, Ryan. Hey, we already had the same front nine score that we had in round number one, right? So... we're playing better these conditions are insane round number one was very scorable this is not scorable i'm happy with one over in these yeah, conditions that is a wonderful tee shot right where you want to be here at hole number nine stay in the stay in the fairway stay in the fairway yes from the fairway let's go to noda well, from this section of the fairway, you have an opportunity to get the ball close to the back third of this green. It's going to require some good calculations on yardage and proper execution to get the ball to sit on the right plateau. You know, it's a really tough shot. We have 158 uphill quite a bit. I don't know the exact number. We, I do know that we don't want to land this short. That would be aiming. So 20 yards past it, 68, 78. This is 24 yards past, calculating for the wind and uphill. Let's go! Oh, just the strike. The sound of it. And the ball does the rest. Great shot. Chance now to make the turn with some momentum for birdie. Stay focused, right? Got to look at this from both angles. I still can't believe that golf shot. 1.3 degrees, ball above the feet, below the feet. Don't want to misread that. Go steady left to right. Up the slope. 
Yes. Easy as can be. Even. Tap in birdie here at the ninth. Back to and four that will mean under. This is an even par front side. What a tough round of golf. <laughs> We fought every step of the way there for that front nine as we make the turn. Cheers for that birdie, everybody. Get your coffee, whatever you're drinking. It might have got cold because that is the first birdie of the round. Wow. Now, in this win, we have to hit a draw. Have to. It'll be a tough shot. You, you all know I'm not good at them, right? But we have to. It's beautiful. That's why I've worked on that shot so much. That will be more than adequate. It's safely into the fairway. Now, Noda, his second from the fairway. 156 yards left. Tough win for a right-hander coming from left to right. All in that birdie train, YouTube. You all are legends. Thank you for all the positive, encouraging comments, the likes on the video. You all are legends. Keep this up. 156 down the slope. And it have to probably go to nine iron here. This wind is going to absolutely kick this ball a mile left to right down this hill. Oh, told you. But wow, I didn't expect that much. So it finds the bunker on the right of this green. Now the problem starts because everything slopes away from the bunker. A very fast bunker shot. Yeah, I'm not afraid. Beautiful. The wind. Okay, I mean, the surface out of the sand. Would have maybe like to run that up a little further, but that's not the worst shot in the world. Definitely right to left. Ball is above the feet. Looks like the right side of the green is higher than the left. And from this angle. Definitely confirm the read, but the problem is there's not an easy putt. Like this thing is gonna be quick, it's gonna be it's gonna be moving. Oh well you hate to give one back on a putt like that. Okay, hey. that one in for a bogey here. Bogey's going to happen. Get him to move and on. That's we gonna can't. Drop him down the leaderboard we can't let it run our round. Yes, we are sitting right in the cut line, right? No, we're sitting outside the cut now. Four under is the, the cut line. Wake up, Ryan. Wake up. That thing just broke a mile. <laughs> We've been playing the putts the same way, and I finally play that putt the way I would expect, and we miss it. Like, just so many this week like that. Wake up, Ryan. And then corner officially begins now. His second at hole we number 11. This. Forget the past. Move on. Jerry told Ryan, just play your game. Don't worry about the other golfers. Don't worry about the cut. Play like Ryan Gamer. That's it. That's the shot. That's a smart shot. If if I aim a little bit more to the left, so it's perfect. But from that kind of a spot it's too dangerous. Short. Yeah, you're looking your chops over that one. A shot you think you could hit directly at the flag. Uh, now, test for the short game. It's yeah, steady right to left. I don't think there's much to this. I think this is a very makeable, very makeable Texas wedge here. What a touch. Not quite enough, but that's pretty good. It's just so tough to calculate how much speed's going to be taken off before you get to the green, but that is very well We judged. will take a par there any day of the week. I cannot believe what Corey Connors did in these conditions. Like, that's, that's impossible. His score in this round is actually impossible. 151 to carry the bunker. I think with the swirling winds... We have to play this pretty safe, right?
You're kidding me. And underswing on a shot that would have been perfection. Now from the bunker. Yeah, just a little splash out on this path three. Living you learn. The wind has been crushing the bunker shots. Like, look at that wind. Oh, the hands came through beautifully there. Good thump of the sand and a good chance to save par. Easy par. Don't overthink this. Just send it in. That one safely in. It's a par here at 12. We have He's to birdie this. need to come this. up with a few birdies in short order if he wants to play the weekend. Oh, we are playing the weekend. We did not have that round one comeback to throw it all away. In these, these are tough conditions, right? This is about the max I've ever uh, played this solid. course. Good drive in the fairway. Have to stay focused, though. Two oh five to the to carry the green. Plenty of green to work with here. Actually, this is a great club. We can definitely attack this. I think we attack on the finesse just to play it safe, right? Like. That's the shot. Come on, ball. Yes, in that win, really you just can't that stop it. Shot on the button to this par five. Now, this but shot, Frank though, couldn't get it to stop. Yeah, too good, too long, sadly. I mean, the only chance we have, probably to, as crazy as this sounds, to flop this, how else do we stick this ball? I don't even know what to do at this point. No way that wind affected it that much. Hunters let him down a few times, but this for birdie. Level? Is this a straight putt? I'll believe it when I see it. I don't see any break. I would rather it show break. <laughs> I don't, I, would, I have to do a lot of convincing to tell myself that this is straight in, right? But it is. One time. Oh, that took a look. I thought it might catch that right edge, but it didn't get there. Okay, safely in for par here at 13. That's a heartbreaker, right? What are you going to do? He'll stay right where he is. We can't dwell on it. We have to just leave it in the past. That is a heartbreaker on a must-score hole. We got this. Stay focused, everybody. It's not over. Cheers. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. The most attractive feature of this hole is the dynamic design of the green, cut into three separate sections, guarded by an amazing false front where the ball will come all the way off the front. Gotta edge. go knockdown shot here. It's really our only chance to to get this ball around the the right area. Now the problem is here getting the right distance because we're in between clubs. It's got to be the seven iron. Wind has shifted a bit. That's beautiful, actually. Get down that slope. Give herself a chance. We need to hit this putt. And safely on deck. That's the main thing, but from that distance, really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this first putt's going to have to be good. I mean, these are the toughest conditions I've ever seen on this course. And we are playing great golf. Like, don't get sidetracked here. On the golf we've been playing, I mean, in these conditions... Incredible golf. We got this, though. We are making a cut. Just got one at a time, right? One putt at a time. Gonna break a mile. Oh, 
One at a time. Mm, that's a good putt. Just needed a little more behind it. Good putt. Hey. They'll drop. No issues there. It is a par here They'll at drop. 14. But that's going to keep him on the outside looking no, in. No, we're in the cut. Of 48. The weekend. No, we are in the cut line. Cuts at three under. And remember last year, it changed big time. Uh, it changed big time, if you all remember. We were right on the cut line. We were all outside the cut line, and then it changed. One time. Wake up, you two. This is, this is our moment. A good swing and a good result as that is safely into the fairway. Now we can't really get carried away on this second shot. We we can't. A good look down at this 15th green. It's a green light for yeah, this second. It, it may be green light, but we're aiming at right side. Safe shot, right? Smart shot. Not much else we could have done there. We attacked that pin, hit it in the water, or we really missed the cut. That second shot on the button to this par five, but Frank couldn't get it to stop. Yeah, too good, too long, sadly. So easy to run this right into the water. A tough one from behind the green. Not even Mitch in the water. Actually. We've got a spinner shot this one because this is a this is a perfect spinner shot opportunity. Overhit it a bit. The putter has not been at its best, but this a good look for Birdie. We have another one where it says it does it. It's, it says level at the feet, right? Which makes this extremely tough to read. I wish you could put the pat the pin in and out. You can see the break at the hole. I'm ne I don't know if I've had a putt here before. I'll be honest with you all. I don't see anything. But after just missing that last one that was straight in, trying to look at this from all the different angles, Ryan would be walking this green for hours, right? I think it's right to left slightly, just barely. Right to left. One time, everybody. Yes! Ah, yes, never in doubt. It's a birdie here I at got 15. so excited. I <laughs> that might just wind up being the I got difference so excited. as for I the moment my that's going to move him inside the cut line <laughs> in his quest to play the weekend. <laughs> yes. Hey, that's when you know you're fired up. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, get your coffee, everybody. We need to settle down, though. 39th place. What a fight, what a grind. This is what it's all about, moments like this, and we do not attack this. 165 to the right side. We play for 165 on the right side. You all might disagree with that shot at that point in time, but, oh. Hold that thought. Okay, not taking any chances there. A good, safe play in the middle portion of the green. It was not as cautious as I anticipated. The wind has been ripping the ball, but we don't have much break here. Ball is above the feet slightly. This thing, honestly, it's weird to me because it says ball above feet. But it's not much. Yo, it's a little bit right to left. 
This is so much similar to that last putt we had. Almost the exact same putt, really. Except a little bit further. It's like right edge. Up the slope. One time. Like you've never one-timed. One time! Come oh, on! Yes. No. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. <laughs> Got so excited I and smacked the mic the there. One is he'll move a couple shots clear of the cut line. I mean, hey, you never give up. YouTube, if you all were here and you one time that, drop a one time letting me know you were here for that. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Play smart. I thought trees were 90% air. That's He'll a dagger. Be in this breeze in his face as he sets for a second. It's all right. All we got to do is send this up. Not power approach, normal approach. Send it up. Give herself a chance. No need to get flustered, right? Play it like a par five that we're going for par. <laughs> a long par five. Now this is when, this is the distance that Ryan has struggled with big time recently. This shot right here is a shot he used to dial in. 55, this wind, how much is the wind gonna affect the spinner? That's the question, right? I mean, apparently that much? You're kidding. You have to be kidding me. How did that ball die so much through the trees in the first place? I don't think I've ever hit those trees. And I've played this course a lot. I mean, at this point, we've got to pitch this. And make sure we get it up there. The problem is knowing how much this wind is going to affect it. Beautiful. These are just shots you never have, right? Only at Augusta National, right? These are shots, you, you scenarios you never have. That is a huge bogey, that as crazy as that sounds. A bogey here at 17. That's a cut-making bogey. Him back to four under par. But a big stroke to drop. Now, this is one we really have to think about. I mean, what do you even do? Fading it is a disaster waiting to happen. Right? I mean, you all know, Ryan. Do we play for the pine straw on the left? I don't, I don't even know. I'll just be honest with you. I have no clue what to do here. No clue what to do here in this wind. We, I'm not confident enough with the fade to hit a fade into this. There's no way. I think we just play for the bunker. Hope we get lucky on the shot dispersion. Yeah, I mean, smart shot, right? Mm, that one working too far left. It's into the first of those two bunkers on this 18th This cut way. line is four under right now. 159 uphill quite a bit into a 82-91% line. So basically, we just have to make sure we absolutely send this ball and get this on the green and give ourselves a chance. Wait, does that get over? I'm not convinced 7-iron gets over that lip. Is it, we're hitting off a downslope. 8-iron definitely does. It should. If it doesn't, I may retire. I don't think 7-iron gets over. Did they all? Did that hit something? So close. The strike wasn't too bad. Just a little off line. And now 
Greenside bunker coming up. Wow. Okay, this golf course, as we all know, will show its teeth. And a wow has it. We have an extremely difficult bunker shot here to get up and over this lip. Can we even get up and over the pick shot? I don't think we can. I've never hit a hit a shot from this bunker on this pin location. But I'm doing full loft. Have to play the shot you've been given. Beautiful. Okay, pretty big swing necessary there, and that's not all that bad from that far away. To make a cut. Her weekend golf. Ball is sitting above the feet. Steady right to left putt. Visualize. Visualize the read, Ryan. One time. Yes! Ah, that's a good putt to save par here at 18. What so a battle. So for our battle. future golfer, Frank, it is on to the weekend. Who knows, if you get out early on Saturday, try and post a number. See what happens. Exactly. There's such a fine line, Rich, between playing well and sort of not struggling, but just mediocre. Putt goes in here or there. Uh, that could easily change tomorrow. Make a couple of birdies early, pop a long one in, and all of a sudden you're off and running. That was the hardest two rounds of golf I have ever played in a video game. By far, the hardest two rounds of golf, the most... I would say exciting two rounds of golf I may have had ever. The excitement, the, it, oh my goodness. My, I'm gonna have to take a break after this. My heart rate, I don't know about you all. Oh wow, my heart rate was up there. Even on the front, even, even on the back, even on the round, that even is like a seven under with no wind. That was an exceptional round of golf, an exceptional battle, and thank you for all the one times. We barely made that last putt. If we miss it, that's a missed cut. We made the cut on the number. 42nd place, Adam Hadwin at the lead, a 64 on the day, 13 over on the tournament, 13 under. Kevin Sherman, 13 under. Victor Hovland, 11 under. Uh, Corey Connors, 10 under, 9 under. I mean, now we know that the max difficulty we've been playing on for AI is a little bit too much for the Masters. Uh, we, will we will remember that for the next major. We may lower it from the max difficulty a little bit. Look at the amateur Baker 9 under. Are you kidding me? What a round of golf. I mean, let's see who made the cut. Another amateur 7 under for Abe. Wow. Ryan Gamer was like that last season. Tony Finau, even for the day, just like Ryan, tied for 29th. Jason Day made the cut. Patrick Cantlay battled in for a minus four on the day. to 72 on the card for Ryan Gamer, but we made it barely tied with Hideki Matsuyama. We're using the Hideki Matsuyama legendary club specs. Wow. Corey Connor. What did Corey shoot? Corey Connor shot a 9 under 60, uh, 63. Maybe we can do that on movie day. Hey, we made the cut. The stress is over now. Now we go into movie day knowing we made the cut and fighting our way up the leaderboard. There are no nerves. We are sitting tied for 42. Nothing to lose. We know we need a lot of strokes. We probably have to realistically shoot like 9 under 9 under to win this thing. Is it possible? Yes. We can do this. I need all of your all's one times, all the hype, all the positive, encouraging comments. You all are legends. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like, subscribe for more. Ryan Gamer has made the cut in the Masters on an epic comeback there in round number one, five under on the back. That's the reason we made it. Because if we go into round number two, anything like even, we're well out of the tournament. No way we're shoot four under. No way. 
but we battled and we fought and we clawed our way through the tough conditions of round number two. We don't know what we're gonna have for round number three yet, but please hope the wind settles down, please. That was the hardest round of golf I have ever played in this game. Wow, that is why you never give up. You focus, you keep fighting. I will see you all in the next video. Check the playlist in the description to see if it's already been posted. This is going to be an epic Masters. Let's go. I will see you in the next one. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.